Hello my peaches, what's up? I am Pratha and welcome to today's video. Oh, just in case you have noticed my eye look today, I want to, because you know, not because I want to brag, but I am so happy to be sharing with you guys that I bought my first ever luxury eyeshadow palette. I've always been using the affordable ones and the one that I've bought is empowered from huda beauty such a beautiful beautiful warm toned eyeshadow palette it looks stunning the shimmers are like so creamy buttery on it and it has everything from the foil shimmers to the regular shimmers to the cream eyeshadows just in case you want to smoke out something and then some beautiful buttery powders and also some pressed glitters so this is a beautiful and a perfect palette for the warm toned people if they want to create several looks just wanted to share it with you and share this achievement of mine with you that i've bought my first ever luxury palette yeah super happy about it and i've been really experimenting with my eye looks as i told you that i'm back to creating some complex eye looks instead of just putting two colors on my eyes and sitting in front of the camera so i'm really putting an effort creating eye looks these days yes so today in this video we are going to talk about my designer perfume collection because for now i am believing that i am putting a hold on the designers just for a few months not for too long but just a few months if you're requesting something i will try my level best to get a sample of it instead of getting a full bottle because the collection is just going crazy and i need more storage or maybe a dedicated cupboard for my perfumes so for that reason i'm just putting a stop or maybe like putting a hold on buying designer perfumes and I feel that this is the best time to share with you that what is there in my designer perfume collection. So let's discuss my entire designer perfume collection and let's dig in and roll the intro. Not going in any particular order because I genuinely do not remember when I bought what. So let's start with whatever is in front of me and whatever I could grab. And let's start with CK into you. Also, uh, some people in the comment section have been asking that what designer perfumes are. So basically, designer perfumes are the ones that are made by the designer houses. Designers are either people who have their own houses, just like Masaba, they design clothes i'm just giving this information for those who don't know those who know they know so those who make clothes bags accessories shoes and when they make designer perfumes they are called as designer perfumes so yeah so there are niche houses as well that exclusively make perfumes and do not make anything as well and then there is a category of luxury designer perfumes which is like higher in prices just like tom ford and then there are niche houses that exclusively make perfumes like Maison Francis Curtijon. So yeah, those are the, yeah. So I think we're good to go now. And we are talking about the regular designer perfumes in this video. So CK into you, I think it's the budget kind of designer perfume. We get it in even lower prices out of India, but in India, You'll find it around 3000 rupees. It's a really interesting summer fragrance. I will just keep putting the notes on the screen and I'm not going to repeat them with each fragrance. So it's a beautiful citrusy fragrance, like a super zesty lemony lime kind of, like a mix of bergamot, lime, lemon, all those fresh citruses mixing in and making this fragrance. Like it's so zesty. It's so perfect for the summertime and very very uplifting but the great thing about this fragrance is that it's not just outright fresh it's kind of interesting because of the cactus note in it and in the base it has some woodiness and vanilla so all those things mixing in kind of make it a zesty but more like a gel like zesty fragrance which is kind of a little soft from that vanilla in the base it's a really 
interesting and beautiful fragrance at first when i received it i was like mm, it's a regular fragrance why have everybody been so crazy about it but now that i have it own it and wear it i just kind of really really enjoy it and i find it to be different from any other zesty fragrance out there so because of that cactus and that vanilla it's really really beautiful now next fragrance is something that i have not bought myself and my cousin came down from you and she brought this fragrance for me and this is Encanto from Salvatore Ferragamo I think this is the most recent line launched by Salvatore and also very very affordable in India as well so this is a very you know floral and fresh kind of fragrance let me just spray it in the cap because I don't want the fragrance to get all over the place designer fragrances are long lasting and they do not leave the room for an entire day again a floral but slightly sweet and and it's a citrusy but slightly sweet citrusy more like the oranges or mandarin kind of sweet and then sitting into florals and muskiness and it's more like a sharp floral and a fresh kind of fragrance haven't been wearing it much because we get very less summer days in hyderabad the extreme heat i was in north and i was not carrying this with me so i haven't wore it much but i can say that this whole line is not very very impressive and it's not something out of the box and i can get this kind of fragrance in any other brand so i'm not really gravitating towards it that much but i really treasure it because it's not a fragrance for me it's a gesture that my cousin got a gift for me so yeah it's really special for me for that reason this next fragrance is a love of mine and no matter how much everybody tries roasting this or call it an outdated fragrance i'm still not going to get carried away by what they say and that is alien by mugler you know sometimes some fragrances might smell a little out of trend but this is something that goes really well with my body chemistry and this is one strong fragrance that i can handle even after being so strong and so long lasting luckily i have the old version before it was reformulated and before it was taken by l'oreal so i have the old version and this lasts on me for two days three days i mean it just keeps on going and it's a beautiful slightly sweet but kind of a rotten floral fragrance which is mixing in with the woodiness so it's really interesting it's really nice and i still like it a lot and i still reach out for this so much so whenever i want to smell potent but i don't want to get a headache from it, the fragrance i easily grab this one and i really really like it the most recent purchase and the addition to my designer collection this year has been dolce and gabbana the only one i got the 50 ml in it because let's be honest it's a super expensive fragrance even this 50 ml cost me around 6300 rupees i said that i do not smell that much of a coconut in it but now that i was like day before yesterday i reached out for this again and now that i'm smelling it i'm kind of smelling like a not exactly creamy but more like a dry kind of a coconut note in it which is slightly on the warmer side of things but still i would say this fragrance is a beautiful blend of that coconut and the husky white floral notes which kind of makes it a very very classy rich kind of fragrance which smells like you have money you wear tuxedos or you wear gowns and you go to those huge events or those expensive parties and that is when you put this on it is a classy a sexy and a smelling like money kind of fragrance in here and if you're looking for something like that because the coconut in the background is kind of dry but adding a smoothness to this entire husky floral thing in here and is kind of making it a little uh deep and dark and nighttime appropriate so if that is something you're looking for i think you must grab this right now because otherwise it might discontinue i'm not sure about that but i heard somewhere that they are discontinuing this that is why i hurried and 
bought this so that I do not regret not having this fragrance in my collection. Another beautiful black bottle is a Roberto Cavalli's Nero Absoluto. I have always spoken so highly of this fragrance, but I find it to be a little on the unisex lines. I just strongly believe it still. It's a beautiful orchid vanilla and ebony wood fragrance there is not much of a complexity to it i mean even if they would have mentioned the notes it does not smell like a very complex fragrance rather it smells like a damp woody but a little masculine and slightly smooth like vanilla is not adding that sweetness but is kind of making it smooth so it's a damp woody smooth kind of like a damp woody smooth paste kind of a fragrance in here which has the orchid note in the background and that orchid is kind of making it bold and a slight bit masculine not like after shavy but still kind of adding that boldness to it so either it is a bold woman's fragrance as i always say that i imagine angelina jolie or sushmita sen in a black gown and going to a huge event with this fragrance and that's the vibe that it has and i'm so 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 glad that I have this fragrance because on the days when I would like to wear something black all over and would like to feel sexy, I'll wear this without any doubts. A very, very successful purchase of this year and a fragrance that I have been going back to again and again and I am so glad that I added it to my collection is Guess Seductive Red. Now this is a cherry dominating fragrance and it has this sweet fluffy note to it but that kind of a sweet and sour and pulpy cherry is mixing in with the vanilla and with the fluffy notes in it but one thing which is not mentioned in the notes is the smokiness now this is a smoky cherry fragrance but definitely on the super sweet lighter and fluffy side of things so it's a fluffy smoky sweet cherry fragrance i think it also has almond in it if i'm not wrong and that almond is kind of adding a creaminess to it so probably that mix of almond and cherry is kind of making it smell like a pulpy but a uh, fluffy sweet and smoky so it's a beautiful fragrance in a budget you will easily get it under 2500 rupees or under 3000 rupees for sure if the prices have not gone up on this and this is something if you are a sweet fluffy fragrance lover and you also want to smell a little smoky because that smokiness is kind of adding this you know sexiness to it so this fragrance is a non-offensive sexy date night fragrance for sure or even a daytime date like it can be your all day long kind of a date fragrance and it can also be your netflix and chill kind of fragrance so yeah it's non-offensive and it definitely will be noticed i just felt initially when i bought it i felt that it's not that projective it's not long lasting but now when i put it on i wait for this fragrance to go down it lasts on me all day either it's just my nose got refreshed or something but this lasts on me all day and the clothes that i sprayed it on the dress that is still hanging in the bathroom from past three days i'm sorry for that you know that i'm giving you all that information of my clothes being in the bathroom from past three days but it's still smelling of this fragrance every time i enter the bathroom i smell this so not worth missing out on because it's quite budget friendly right now for a designer the next one is something which was like my second or third designer i can say or maybe it was the I think it was my first designer and that is Olympia from Paco Rabanne. Now this has been hyped as a sexy vanilla fragrance and, and I just feel that this is a fragrance for the sexy golden beach babe. I literally imagine Jacqueline Fernandez in a gold bikini on the beach enjoying a warm kind of golden hour kind of time and wearing this fragrance and smelling of this 
salty and sharp kind of vanilla it has the beautiful notes of ambergris and vanilla and some saltiness so this fragrance is more like this it has this aquatic quality to it coming from ambergris because ambergris is literally whale's vomit so <laughs> which for some reason sounds disgusting but smells really um you know aquatic and everything but then also has this minerally nest to it that's what i feel it just feels like the sea water is hitting the white rocks by the seaside and that sand and the mineraliness in the rocks is kind of giving a strong fragrance right after getting wet from the sea water and then some vanilla in the air which is not super sweet but then kind of mixing in with this entire situation that i'm telling you right now it's different it's unique it's sexy it's sharp as well maybe in the air it does not smell that sharp but when i put this on it definitely comes off as a sharp fragrance but still this is definitely something which is so beautiful which is so sexy i mean it has been in the market for such a long time now i just feel that um instead of these sharp ones i gravitate more towards the sweet and smooth ones but on a hot day this is definitely something when i want to wear something vanilla but slightly on the fresher side of things so i do grab this one and this is a unique take on an aquatic fragrance for sure now the next fragrance is something that i bought just for the heck of buying this bottle because i was missing this you know i was just feeling like that i have the collection of designers but i don't have this stunning bottle in my collection how come and the mistake that i made is that instead of going for the original i went for a flanker and i and those who are my returning viewers they know what i'm talking about i am talking about carolina herrera i have i think it's very sexy i've even forgotten the name of this flanker I'll just mention it on the screen. So yeah, very good girl. I think this is very good girl. So um, I was I don't know what I was expecting from this. It's a good fragrance. I'm not saying no to that, but it's a rose dominating fragrance. It's a slightly sweet, watery kind of bright rose, and there is nothing, absolutely nothing, amazing. or out of the box or unique or designer worthy about it it's just a simple rose fragrance and only those who love rose to the core will love it because i'm not a floral fragrance lover and on top of all that i do not like rose fragrances so for that reason this has been such a bad investment on my part that I know I'm never going to wear it for a simple reason that I cannot handle rose on me but I think I'm going to hold on to it for a while because I love the bottle and bottle is something that I bought it for so I think yeah for that reason I'm definitely keeping it for now but this might go in declutter soon or maybe next year I don't know just holding on to this beautiful bottle because i wanted to own this beautiful stiletto in my collection the next one that i'm talking about i personally was never gravitating towards this i was never thinking about buying this but a subscriber of mine kind of pushed me to buy it and genuinely i've never used this fragrance and that is la sabs girl of now how everybody says that it's a beautiful sweet kind of nutty fragrance i do not get any of that in it for me it's a powdery warm majorly that powder smelling of amber so it's a powdery warm patchouli fragrance which has a little bit of nuttiness in the background but the sweetness never ever develops on me and i even my nose does not detect that much of sweetness to it it has a slight sweetness to it but it's not like a super sweet fragrance for me 
the bottle is beautiful but as you can see i have never used the fragrance because it does not turn out the way i want it to so for that reason i do not use it but i really really like this stunning bottle that is here so yeah for that reason i am keeping it and also because i don't want to sell off my designers for now and i just want to keep that collection for myself yeah because you never know that when i fall back into this and start using it maybe someday yeah another roberto cavalli fragrance is the roberto cavalli original i i think this has been compared to and i mentioned that in my perfume dupes video it's been compared to one of the kayali's fragrances i think it's in white only amber so if i'm not wrong so this is a beautiful blend of pink peppercorns orange blossom and amber and vanilla in the base it's a very very rich woman kind of fragrance it's like smelling like money without efforts and this woman that wears this kind of fragrance is somebody who needs not make money she just goes out does her shopping buy designers and goes to spa visits she's having the best time of her life and she has absolutely no stress in life and just she's just enjoying her money so that is what this smells like to me it's a very bougie kind of fragrance in my opinion it's a very expensive and bougie kind of fragrance so yeah that's roberto cavalli original this next designer fragrance i bought because this in itself is a dupe for another expensive designer fragrance and that is guess seductive noir now this is a dupe for mon guerlain so i bought this fragrance first and tried mon guerlain on the airport later on and that is when i was like 100% sure that this is a very very close dupe of mon guerlain that one definitely smells more refined but there are no flaws in this one as well for the price i really really like it it's a very very unique take on a fragrance mon guerlain is a lavender and vanilla fragrance this on the other hand does have this vanilla in the base but it's mostly like you know it kind of smells like a perfumey cosmetic kind of fragrance which kind of smells of purple flowers in the opening and then kind of sits into a powdery vanillic kind of fragrance but it's on the sexier side of things so it does resemble mon guerlain quite a lot but for me it's a quite sexy nighttime kind of like a grown up woman or a wife on a date with her husband kind of a fragrance and it's unique it's different it's not everybody's cup of tea because it falls in a very unique category of fragrances so this blend of this plasticky floraliness more like what a cosmetic would smell like the plasticiness that cosmetics have that mixing in with the powdery vanilla is what you get in here and the the florals that are there in it are kind of purple and very different you know so this has i think this also has the orchid note if i'm not wrong so yeah this again is a sexy bold but a very mature kind of fragrance and this is not everybody's cup of tea you know i'm not sure whether i should be including my designer perfume samples in it i think there is no need of that because i will link a video up here where i have talked about all the floral designer fragrances that i have in the samples so you can watch it over there and the next fragrance is i did a little bit of research right before sitting down and filming this video and i just wanted to confirm whether police is a designer house or not and looks like it is an italian designer house so the next fragrance that we're talking about is police shock and scent now i bought this because this is said to be a do for a scandal by night and it definitely is it's a super sweet honey dripping on florals and mixing in with patchouli kind of fragrance but the patchouli is unable to take over the fragrance for sure in this one because the sweetness is overtaking the entire thing some people say that it smells like incense and all maybe on some skin chemistries it does that but on me it does not do that it's a super sweet and sexy kind of fragrance it is a nighttime winter time kind of fragrance and it's 
beautiful for partying and it keeps on going on me for like two days three days it's a super long lasting fragrance and when i talk about the longevity of these i am specifically talking about these lasting on my clothes because i don't like spraying anything alcoholy on my skin directly most of the times maybe sometimes just behind my neck but have been really avoiding putting things on my skin lately because I always have to keep testing fragrances and for that I have to check their longevity on skin. So whenever I wear fragrances for my own self, I kind of refrain from putting them on my skin. So yeah, police shock and scent. The next one is a very, very proud launch of last year and that is and also it is our own Indian designer fragrance and I cannot go without mentioning it and that is Love Child Masaba Antigon Tea Calf. Beautiful, complex but super feminine kind of fragrance in here. I don't know if they launched it as a unisex fragrance, I'm not sure about that but the sweetness in it makes me feel that this leans quite feminine. It's a sweet coconut milk coffee fragrance which has some green notes to it which are not like super green or fresh but more like this palm tree greenness which is very faint and somewhere in the background and this is so yummy this is so beautiful but it is a winter fragrance i do not see this as a summer fragrance or maybe a summer night fragrance or maybe a pleasant day night kind of fragrance but though i always talk about all the tropical things and the tropical scenario whenever i talk about it but i just feel that the sweetness and the milkiness in it is making it and the coffee is making it a winter fragrance and it's not something very easy to handle on a hot day so yeah i think it can get glowing or it can just get way too heavy and out there and headache inducing for the summertime so i think this is a beautiful winter fragrance which is super unique which is our first ever indian designer fragrance and definitely worth looking into and not missing out on about this next fragrance i am so glad i have it in my collection because one it's very rarely available these days two we have not been able to find a perfect dew for this till date and we are talking about versace crystal noir this is a beautiful spicy coconutty fragrance which has sandalwood amber and vanilla in the base but the florals which are majorly what I'm smelling is orange blossom are kind of adding a bit of sharpness and brightness to it. So this is a gingery coconutty fragrance. To my nose, the coconut comes off as creamy. Some people say that they smell a dry kind of coconut in it, but I smell a creamy coconut mixing in with ginger, but then orange blossom making it sharp and bright. And then amber vanilla and sandalwood kind of making it powdery and smooth in the base so it's a blend of so many things in here which is hard to explain and you need to sniff on it to understand this fragrance but for me this is a sexy summertime fragrance which is beautiful for sexy dates going for parties attending parties or being on a tropical vacation and you know just dressing up going for drinks that kind of vibe or maybe a sexy bridal fragrance for a destination wedding mainly a beach wedding or something so yeah that's what i get from this and i'm so glad that i have it in my collection just another fragrance which keeps on going for two days it's super long lasting it can be headache inducing for those who cannot handle very strong fragrances so yeah that's Versace Crystal Noir and I'm so glad I have it. Let's talk about a freshie now and I had the opportunity of having a full bottle in it but then I knew that I'm never going to use it and I just have it because it's super famous. It's It's been there in the market for years and years and we are talking about David of Cool Water. I have this teeny tiny bottle with me just for the reference that if ever 
I just come across any dupe, I can check them side by side. So only for those reasons, I have this tiny bottle in here. I just feel that this is slightly sweet, but more of a super aquatic kind of fragrance, which is fresh and detergent like this freshness that they have created is by adding a detergent note to it so it's a pretty harsh detergent fragrance with aquatic notes and it's fresh through and through and literally smells like detergent water to me nothing super special about it and the longevity is also kind of decent maybe it can give you four to five hours nothing more than that so that's david of cool water Okay, honestly, I bought this fragrance with too much excitement, but I'm not really gravitating that much towards it. And I am talking about Pure Excess from Paco Rabanne. Not because I hate it, not because I dislike it, but for me, the amber note in it is a little too strong and it just comes off as a sharp amber to me. Yeah, so... I do like that buttery, caramelized popcorn kind of note in the opening. I do really, really like that. But that sharp amber in it is kind of pretty similar to L.A. Saab's Girl of Now. And this is like slightly more sweeter on me compared to L.A. Saab. But I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll revisit this again as the colder days approach. But whenever I smell this... In these summer days, I always feel that the amber is just way too strong and a little too sharp and should have been a little toned down and more vanilla. Like it does have vanilla, but more vanilla should have added to it for, I'm talking about my own preferences. So I just feel that it misses that little bit of vanilla in it. It If it would have been there and the amber was a little more toned down, like it would have been more beautiful it's still beautiful i'm not saying no to that it's still intoxicating it's sexy and everything but i would like it to be a little more toned down so yes that's pure excess from pakaraba stunning addition to my collection is an a very easy reach kind of fragrance and a very impressive and a very beautiful compliment getter kind of a fragrance is casherals yes i am now i am regretting that why did i go for the small bottle i should have gone for the full bottle but i hardly use one or two sprays of this because it's pretty good at performing i'm not saying that it's enormous but it's good like moderate performing perfume and I was checking on the prices guys, I think this small 30 ml is very much available in 1700 rupees or 1800 rupees, I'm not sure, but I will definitely leave links for you guys from where you can buy these fragrances. I generally buy from Nika or from Tata Click or Mintra and sometimes perfume addiction, but that has not been, you know kind of a regular website for me. I trust Nika, Tata, Mintra, all of these websites more than uh, any other random website. So yeah, so Yes I Am is a beautiful, sweet, powdery, but lectonic kind of fragrance. The lectonicness is not taking the forefront, but there is a period of time when the lectonicness really takes over, like for maybe like after the four or five hour mark this lectonicness kind of takes over for the next 10 minutes and it literally smells like a gourmand in that time period but otherwise in the extreme dry down it's a beautiful vanillic kind of fragrance it's a beautiful sweet powdery kind of fragrance which kind of smells like vintage makeup or kind of smells like a lipstick or a compact powder which is super perfumey and from a vintage time but it does not have an old lady kind of a vibe or a granny kind of a vibe to it it's pretty much a very young and glamorous kind of woman's fragrance i always forget saying that it does not give old vibes to me at all it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance to consider and it's like a very different take on a fragrance maybe not something too much out of the box but a very different fragrance among the other designers these days so yes this is definitely something to grab on especially in the price range of 17 or 1800 rupees 
do check the links in the description the next one as well i bought out of curiosity and even the name has kind of rubbed off because i keep this in my bag and i'm talking about i have a 20 ml or a 15 ml of jean paul gaultier's la belle because i was super curious about this fragrance that what it is all about why everybody calls it a sexy and versatile kind of fragrance and i totally see that now super sweet fragrance which is patchouli dominating and also has a lot of vanilla to it with a fruitiness in the top but for some reason it is a sexy grown-up kind of fragrance and it's very much appropriate for any situation in the day you can start your day with this fragrance go to office then go to some outside office meetings and come back home but still go on a date with your partner and keep this fragrance on right from the start of the day till the end so it's very much versatile and appropriate from right from you know the working hours to the leisure hours or the romantic hours so there is nothing that this fragrance cannot fit into the category of and this is one fragrance if you just want to buy a versatile fragrance you invest your money into it but this is a little pricey but i'll try my level best because i bought this decan from mintra so i'll try my level best to find a link for you guys for this and also i forgot mentioning that it's super long lasting as well and the last designer is signorina misteriosa from salvatore ferragamo i have talked about this on the channel a million times and it's a beautiful powdery vanilla like fruity fragrance which has a milk mousse note to it and that milk mousse literally kind of adds a creamy powderiness which is kind of weird and you know what the more i sniff on it it um kind of reminds me of shaving foam so it has this shaving foam kind of texture to it because if i'm not wrong it also has patchouli so a shaving foam which would smell really really feminine or would smell really sweet so that kind of a vibe that i get in here very foamy kind of texture to it but it's a super feminine and very inviting and adorable kind of fragrance like you wear it to a date when you want to tell the man that i am here for you and i'm completely ready to take you in my life and i have given you my heart so that's the kind of vibe i get from it i don't know why i get that kind of vibe from it this also is very very long lasting this can last you all day but it's a beautiful fragrance to be wearing on a date and for a nighttime dinner or like anything nighttime so yeah i've told you the texture on this so considering that it's a very very beautiful fragrance guys it's not like you're a simple basic vanilla it's not that the patchouli and the fruitiness in it is really kind of making it a little different so yes very very stunning kind of fragrance and those are all my designer fragrances these are the ones that i have collected over a period of time let's say i have collected these fragrances in the time period of maybe two and a half years so it has not been like that i bought these super expensive fragrances in just one go or in a short duration so I hope you're still here watching me and liking me. Please leave some emojis in the comment section below and also tell me which is your favorite designer fragrance. If you're still here watching me and liking me, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up down below. Keep looking beautiful. Keep smelling good. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day all. Bye bye. Mwah.